It is my conjecture that what I have termed the Anthropus Dawsoni, Dawson's Dawn Man, is nothing less than the missing link we have searched for so long. Thank you. For the British scientific establishment, here at last is what they had long wished for, the perfect missing link, a big-brained British ape man. The fossils are perfect for a missing link. Some of it seems to be human, some of it seems to be ape. It just fits perfectly right in between. In your search for an ancestor, that's what you want. You know, it was almost too good to be true. But because everyone was, ex was looking for something, because everyone wanted to find that first Britain, nobody dug deeper. Gentlemen, please, gather round. It seems the missing link has been found. Yet, while Dawson savors his moment of glory, his audience is unaware that they've all been taken in by the greatest hoax in scientific history. And it will take decades for the truth to come out. While the experts in England content themselves with fakes, a real scientific treasure waits to be discovered. But it's in a part of the world that no one at this time even cares to look. Southern Africa. Charles Darwin believed Africa might be the cradle of humanity because it was the home of the great apes. If our closest ape relatives were still there, then the ancestral link between us might lie there too. If so, evidence was bound to turn up sooner or later. It just needed someone to recognize it when it did. 31-year-old Australian physician Raymond Dart has recently arrived in South Africa to begin his teaching career. Today, his friend is getting married, and Dart is best man. Keep still. He and wife Dora have half an hour to finish getting ready. Now wait there, I'll have to put it back on. But Dart's mind is elsewhere. He's been collecting fossils for the last few months, sent to him by students and colleagues. A week ago, he got news of a spectacular fossil found in a nearby lime quarry. And it's just arrived by train. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, just leave it inside the door there. Thanks. Dart's wedding duties are just minutes away, but he can't wait. The promise of a spectacular find is too much to ignore. Uh, where are you going? I'll be one moment. I'll be quick. I just want to make sure it is what I think it is. You can't go burrowing in boxes of rubble now, I'll Raymond. You really, really can't. I won't take long. Raymond, please just leave them alone until tomorrow. Be quick. The first thing he finds is material he's seen a dozen times before. But then, something he could never have dreamed of. A brain. To be precise, the space once occupied by a brain, now filled with fossilized sand. I knew at a glance that what lay in my hands was no ordinary ape brain. Here was the replica of a brain three times the size of any baboon and considerably bigger than an adult chimpanzee. Yet it was not big enough for a primitive man. But whose brain is it? Dart looks to see if there's more of the same creature. He finds a piece of rock with the outline of an upper jaw. Behind it is a hollow space. And when he matches the brain to the hollow, 
It is a perfect fit. He realizes he has both the brain and skull of an unknown ape man. But the face is buried in solid rock. Raymond, Christo is here. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Please, this is getting silly. Powerless for now to reveal its identity, Dart knows just a few inches of rock separate him from a momentous revelation. Raymond Dart has been sent the head of a fossilized ape man, which he hopes may be the missing link. But it's buried in a lump of solid rock. And it takes him seven weeks of painstaking work to reveal its identity. This will be the first human ancestor found in Africa and the earliest ancestor yet discovered. The moment of truth arrives on Christmas Eve, 1924. What emerges first are its teeth, small and fine, like the teeth of a child. But then, the outlines of its skull, more ape-like than human. When it's finally revealed, Dart realizes he's uncovered something extraordinary. A combination of human and ape features that's never been seen before. In the face of a child. <laughs> it's a baby. It's a baby. The fossil was found in a limestone quarry at a site called Taung. So Dart names it Taung Child. Its scientific name is Australopithecus africanus the southern ape of Africa. She stands further back in time than Neanderthal at 40,000 years, or Homo erectus at over half a million. Piltdown is assumed to be around a million years. But Tom goes even further back to more than two million years. And if she is the missing link, then that link is more ape-like than anyone ever imagined. It also places our ancestral home firmly in Africa for the first time. This is South Africa, two million years ago. The world of Tongue Child. And just like the savannah today, food is scarce. There are no easy pickings. This is Tong's mother. <laughs> 